Hi, this is Kendallville, Indiana. And um, this is the second year that artists have painted different motifs on things. Last year was a windmill, this year is rain barrels. So we'll take a quick peek at all of them. Obviously this one has a nice little Beatles thing. And my favorite, the Blue Meanie. Of course, Kendallville is known for its Apple Festival, first Saturday or the first weekend in October. Walking out into sidewalks and things. Too cute. Look how good that one is, too. <laughs> this one's fun. <laughs> rain coming into the rain barrel. Very appropriate. A patriotic one outside of City Hall. Here's a chevron and dot distressed. Nothing really to do with rain barrels. It's just that I love the quaintness of our downtown. Here's the cute little pink one. Wow, this one's really awesome. This one obviously is sponsored by Kindleville's Fire Department. Kind of has like a, a cartoon character Dick Tracy type of feel to it. Hi. Pretty awesome. And I just have to show you what this is in front of. <laughs> uh, just little things. Got a cute little aquatic scene. Didn't the artist do great? Here's a bright sunrise coming up. And then the moon on the back side. Moon and stars. Here's the Dr. Seuss and Cat in the Hat. Wow, this one is incredibly decorated and design. A really awesome sea one. Got the scoop? No? Then how about soup? <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Looks just like a Campbell soup can. Yes. Mother, if you're watching this, I crack me up. <laughs> A new take on a rain gauge. It's a gallon gauge. There's a lot of lakes and other type of water around here. This one's very aquatic. It looks nice and pretty next to the flowers. Some of the barrels could be sponsored by businesses. This is from the from the Hewitt Center. Nice and bright. really pretty too. I like how the dots go around the vine. I might try that on one of my cards. <laughs> it's a neat technique. This one's just almost hard to believe that someone didn't stencil this on or something, but look at all of those little lines in order to fill in the spot between the daisies. Cute. This one's really neat. It looks like that you're looking through a shipwreck or something like that, it's peeking through the aquatics. Some really neat barrel type of technique. Oops. Try not to get hit by traffic here. And this one's in front of our local art studio. Here's one that's got a real folk art feel to it. It says Park and Play, representing our Kindleville Parks and Recreation. We are a unique community in the fact that our park department 
or within our park department, we actually have a lake, Bixler Lake. I know some of my friends watching this are from metropolitan areas. And this is just a small sampling of what it's like in our small community when everybody knows each other and pitches together. You saw the sign for the popcorn stand. After you tour the rain barrels, stop in on the weekends, get a popcorn, and the funds go to a local charity that's running the popcorn stand. There. And our mayor is working the stand tonight along with her husband, Randy, and they're working for the Lions Club. So, yeah. All right. Hope you enjoyed the tour of Kindleville.